Hi everyone, I am here today to walk you through um, Google Classroom. I know some people are new and they haven't really used that before and I want to help you out. So the first thing you wanna do is open up Google Classroom. If you're in your Google Drive or even just type in Google Classroom with your educational account, you'll be able to find it. I usually go to what we tell our students, this is like a little waffle and I hit on Google Classroom. So to make a new classroom, you are just going to hit the plus sign and hit create class. Now, if you're a teacher who teaches math, let's say, and you have a couple different homerooms, you can actually name the section, the period, or the subject. You know, even if you're a third grade teacher and you want to make one that's just for math and one that's just for reading, you can separate that. So I'm going to call one um, enrichment second grade. And I'm going to just write here again, second grade. You don't really need subject or room. I mean, this is more for your students and for you to stay organized, but you can skip that. And it creates in a, very quickly. Once you create it, you're able to customize it and invite and share your students. Now, if you are already home, you can share it with your students in two ways. You can either share their class code with them. So if you have something like a class dojo or an email to parents, you can copy this code here and you can tell them to go into Google Classroom and hit, they would hit the same plus like we just did, but they would hit join class and type in your code, or you can manually enter in their emails. If you have a small class and you want to sit here and type in their emails, it does not take long, especially if your school is a Google school, it should pull right up with all of their names and it should be very easy to add your students in. This will automatically send them an invitation in their email and they'll be able to just click and easily join. Now you can think of this almost as like a Facebook page or like a news feed. You can switch up the theme, you can make your own photo depending on what you um, teach, how it is, you know, up to you. So this, you know, laptop one is kind of cool. Let's say I want to pick that just for fun. And then it's kind of like um, you're posting whatever you want to say. So if you want to welcome your students, you can say, hi, everyone, you know, welcome to our Google Classroom. Now, the good thing about it is let's say you teach an older grade and you teach, you know, five classes of math. You might not want, want one big classroom. You might want to have five different separate classrooms for each of your class, but you don't want to write the same message over and over again. Well, you don't have to. You can click here and you can click that you want to put it in each of your classes. And it's very easy to see. And this is where your names and your descriptions help you stay organized because you can see I have fourth grade, second grade, and I'm able to see it. So even if you had algebra one, algebra one, algebra one, but you wrote first period, second period, you would be able to know the difference. Um, now, the other really awesome thing is that Google lets you differentiate just from here. So it actually has this all students button. Now there's no students in my class, so it's not a great example, but you will be able to see all of your students that are in your class and you can select certain students. So if you wanna give certain students a message to read chapters one and two, you can do that and the other students will not see this message. This is great for differentiating because not everyone needs to see the same thing. You can schedule a post. So being that a lot of us are doing online, you can go on Monday, schedule things for the whole week and it will automatically put out a timer. You can pick what you want. You can also add attachments here. Now this main screen is more like an announcement. It's a little bit different than assigning a classwork. So here you go. This is kind of like what I would use for more blast, welcoming something basic. If you wanna make an, assign an assignment that's gonna have a due date or you're gonna grade it, you're going to wanna go under the classwork tab. Now the classwork tab allows you to make a specific assignment that you can then grade. So what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna hit create an assignment and you can pick what kind of assignment it is. Uh, an assignment can be something that you created on 
Google in your drive that you want to attach to every student. You can also do quizzes. It will grade for you um, a question, certain material, or a post that you've already used. So let's say I want to attach an assignment. I'm going to come here and name my assignment. So I have created this Tic Tac STEM assignment, and I'm going to have them click on the link and follow the directions. Now, this is the part where you must remember you are going to add something from your Google Drive if it's something you created, and you can give each of your students their own copy. So you don't have to um, give it just one time. You can actually have them each have their own file. So you can go here and say students can view the file, students can edit if you want something collaborative, or you make a copy for each. Making a copy for each will actually create it with their name on the title in their own drive and they're touching it only. So this is great, especially if students are gonna drag something around um, and you are going to, to do something like that. So here's where some great things come into play. Again, you can select all of your classes or some of your classes. You can then select all of your students or some of your students. So if you want to have certain students work on something and you have other students that need something more difficult or something more simple, you can separate the um, work that you're giving them. If you want to grade it, you can select how many points it is or you can leave it ungraded. You can give them a due date, especially with this online learning. You can hold them accountable so that they don't just have whenever. You can say this is due um, on Friday at a certain time. And then you can create a topic. So I can write for me like enrichment um, classwork. And if you have a rubric, you can also add that in so the students know how you're grading it. So it's really great. It's super easy. Again, you can set a time to schedule it or do it right away. If you want to set all of your stuff for the week, it's so easy to do. Once this is assigned, on your end, you're going to be able to go into each student's work and see what they're doing. This is helpful for you because you can actually leave live feedback to them, especially as you work from home. You can see um, everything that is going on. So all you need to do is click on the assignment. Oh, so you would come to this section and now my students aren't in the class yet and I don't want to show the list because of privacy reasons, but you would see all little um, grids here of the assignment and you would be able to click on it and actually give a grade. You can write comments through the assignment and it's very easy to do. If you want to attach other items to uh, an, an assignment, you can just go and hit, let me go back, you can go to classwork. When you're doing your assignment, you can also make it create. So if you want them to, hey, write about this response to a chapter two you just read, you don't have to type something formal. You can also just hit create a doc. This will give every student a doc, but with the name of whatever you're calling it. So you might just say, um, you know, book response. And you might say, write your reaction to chapter one. So easy, right? Close this out. They're going to get this. They're going to get this. You're going to make sure you give everyone their own file and they are going to get this. You can have it do the next day. They're going to see this, get their own copy, and you're done. It is so simple um, to do. If you want to do some kind of digital quiz, you can come here and even do a quiz assignment. You're going to use Google Forms to make your quiz, but it's not scary. I will show you in another video. So let me know if you have questions. This is going to be so helpful for you, especially as we all move. You'll be able to see all your grades in one place, add them to your grade books. You're going to love it. So try it. And if you're still stuck, let me know. Have a good day.